Hey guys, what's going on? It's Airborne Ernesto. Um, I was doing a little search on YouTube and I could not find really a review that was just a review of this uh, planet-based game. So I decided, hey, I'll just make something quick. Um, a lot of the ones that are saying reviews are actually like tutorials, so... Let's start. Um, I did get this on Steam and it's currently going for $15.99. We'll get into that pricing a little bit and what I think about that. Um, so when you first get to the tile screen here, it does have a tutorial, which is actually pretty important if you've never played this before. Um, settings wise, not a whole lot to choose from here. Um, so you're kind of limited with that. Uh, I'm not gonna linger on anything too much here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you um, a base that I already have created in this I mean, I'm not going to lie, this probably took me like 32 tries because I just failed, 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 failed. This game is a little bit torturous in the beginning. Um, so this is just kind of a simple setup here. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is because I'm going to kind of cut straight to the point. After you get to this point, there is really no game value. Um, this is about... I mean, I, I could expand and expand and expand across however long it'll allow me to. But point is, is after you get this far, there's nothing really else to do. I have a sufficient, you know, food sources, uh, storage space. I have security. This whole entire wing right here is just for visitors, uh, dropping in on their visitor ships, which they pay me to use my stuff. Um, so in reality, once you get all of this set up, it's just kind of, well, now what? I mean, I could lay down some other stuff here, but it's not really going to matter. So with that said, well, let's go ahead and kick over to the actual point, which is the review. So we'll go ahead and start a new game here. Um, I'm just going to land on whatever this place is. So you start the game. Um, the fact that it lets you choose your location, I don't think it really matters where you choose it. I don't really know why they give you this option because you can't zoom in, you can't do any of this stuff. And I've actually used like, let's say North 20, East 20, you know, or whatever. I've used the same one and they were different each time. So I think it's randomly generated. So when you start the game, um, I do like the loading, you know, the loading screens does not take long. That might be something to do with my PC, but. What I don't like is that I have to watch this every single time. It's a cool little graphic, but if you restart 30 times in, let's say, an hour, just watching this over and over and over again just kind of gets on your nerves. I wish you could, you know, escape out of it or click out of it. None of that works. So you just have to watch your little guys come out of here. Now, graphics-wise, um, for, you know, kind of what I would call an indie style gameplay game um, the graphics are not that bad at all you can tell that they're probably just all of that back there is backdrop but that's not a huge deal your actual playing area looks pretty nice one thing I dislike is if you go to another planet it's exactly the same as this just a different color texture um, so that's a little you know not cool as far as camera rotation goes you can only rotate uh, around like this and when you zoom in, it just goes, you know, barely a difference here. And there's no like panning. Like I can't, I can't look directly down at these guys. So that kind of gets annoying later on when you have a bunch of buildings and you're trying to look at something specific. It just does not work. Um, it really annoys the piss out of me, but that's not a huge deal. So when you first start, um, this is kind of the immediate race is you want to get everything going before you're pretty much out of, you know, your, your guys have a limited supply of oxygen and all of that good stuff where right when you start. Uh, one thing I did notice is these guys will do different jobs other than what they are. So each one of these people have a different job. This is an engineer, biologist, um, the robots, they're pretty, they're really useful actually in this game. Uh, they're carrier robots and constructor robots. So obviously they don't use oxygen, they don't eat food. So it's really nice to have all of those. Uh, that, what you just heard there are meteors. They're not very bad in this game, I wouldn't say. Um, 
I have not seen a whole lot of meteors like completely ruin my base. I've, I've had it like it hit a main area and kill a lot of my people, but it's not a huge deal. Um, your guys will just auto repair it. So what I'm doing right now is just kind of setting something up so that we can at least stay here a little bit. So I'm going to speed up time so they build this. You have to watch out too. If you speed up time and you're not paying attention, your people can just starve because they don't, you know, the time goes by and they don't have any oxygen. Shit just goes bad. Actually, as a matter of fact, the sun probably will go down before I even get the chance to get oxygen. So you have to generate power here. See how they're all just standing around? I feel like they could be doing something. Um, like helping, maybe. It doesn't always work like that. So they're going to go in and get their little oxygen, have a bunch of fun breathing in their air. Uh, after a while, once you set up a, st a storage base, you can actually recycle this. Um, that's pretty nice. Like I said, one thing I'd like to see is if I could just move this camera angle down. Um, this was just a normal release. There wasn't like a early access release, which I feel like there probably could have been an early access release before this, because this feels very early accessy. Uh, if they do plan on adding more, that is anyway, which I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into it that much. This is kind of a midnight buy thing. I'm bored, so I got it. But I did clock, you know, quite a nice bit of hours on there, so I got frustrated plenty of times. So now they're hungry. So let's just start with a little bunk here. And a canteen where the people will eat. And we should probably get a biodome going. That's where they will grow food. Now, I mean, if you have troubles with this game, I definitely understand this game kind of sucks uh, when you first begin because you don't really know what you need. Everything needs to be built premeditatively and in order. Um, like I showed in my last one, that it took me a while to get to that stage. I had to restart plenty of times. For example, I'd get like all of this basic stuff done, and you might forget to make a processing plant. So you run out of materials and then you're screwed or you get the processing plant done and you build all these buildings and then you don't build like a factory and you run out of spare parts so then everything breaks down and you can't repair them and then you're dead so that's just uh, tab does remove the roofs I do like looking at it kind of like that um, click on the item here and you add a place to eat something here water it looks like they're getting a little mad about the water that's one that's another thing I forgot water so all right and finally in here so there's a pretty good um, I guess what would you call it processing chains I guess you could say um, I'll show you an example here in a second so you have biologists who make food. The food is brought to the kitchen and put in here. Um, and then they, this changes the, the plants and bio meats into food that they can eat. They eat it here. Um, and then vice versa goes for all the other materials. You mine uh, ore, which you then take to a factory and make metal. And then the metal is used to make objects likewise starch and plants so I have like a couple of rice pads here which will make a starch and then you take that to a factory and you make this bioplastic which makes just about everything that you're seeing built here storage is really important um, as you saw in my other map so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this and show you kind of the full run of how everything works So as you can see, um, I have like tissues being built here. Um, 
so I guess really back to the review side of things um, it's just a lot of the times you'll see people not doing the things that they're supposed to be doing a lot of idling like this driller bot he's going to go to get repaired but they just something's off with the I guess planogram of where people are expected to go next like we have tons and tons of carrier bots yet medics are carrying food to a food processor processor when instead they could be down here where they're supposed to be um, making medical supplies which only two of them are doing there's a guard down here just kind of idling where all of the people that the intruders will come from these air pads and have to come through one of these gates so it doesn't make sense that they'd be over here let's see here and then with these panels uh, that's another thing there's security consoles which show when an intruder is in so people will get off of their shift and go to sleep and then no one will come to replace them and it's just coincidence that they are now but usually that does not happen so overall um, going back to that 1599 is it worth 1599 I would probably say no I'd say maybe around the 899 range um, it is an awesome game you're gonna put a lot of you know you'll put a few hours into it to get you started and then once you kind of get started to this point I completely abandoned it like there's no they, they, they probably try to add that replay value by adding uh, adding in like another planet that you can go to but honestly I, I'll even show you here when you land you're literally just landing on the same planet that you have but it's blue so in my mind I mean the only thing different about this is you're gonna have more comets or asteroids hitting you um, but honestly there's not gonna be a whole lot of difference and I don't think that that's a very good way of adding value if I wanted to I could probably beat this game you know probably by the in the next couple hours if I really wanted to I could just unlock that last one so that there's some meteors already going off there but it's just it's not it's not hard once you know the chain of events that need to take place to be successful kind of the other thing I don't like about this is that everything has to be connected I understand that but why not underground and why can't they be closer um, and then like you can't build into any of this stuff you can't remove it there's no there's no play there so I got lucky and got this nice wide open space but you'll spawn in places that have no space to build and then you just have to restart so there's a lot of restarting involved in this and I don't know if I really like that So, in the final question, is this worth uh, purchasing or not? I would say at the price of $15.99, probably not, unless you're a complete, you know, lover for space games. I know people take that very seriously. Um, it's just I can't, I can't get over the fact that I paid $15 for it, honestly. I, I, maybe I would have spent $5.99 to $8.99, somewhere in that range. But for this price, it's not worth it, I would not say. Um, like I said, it's, it's really fun and addictive when you get started, but after that, you just kind of die out. So, with that being said, uh, that's that kind of concludes the ending of this video. If you don't like it, go ahead and say in the comments why you disagree with me. And if you found this video helpful and that maybe saved you a few bucks, go ahead and put a like and subscribe to my future videos on reviews. If you want to see a review for a uh, game that I do have, just go ahead and comment 